हेलो नमस्कार आदाब सत श्रीकाल हाउ आर यू टुडे आई एम डॉक्टर परमजीत इन योर वाचिंग डॉक्टर एजुकेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बायोथिन टुडे एंड वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वेदर इट इज इफेक्टिव इन हेयर लॉस हेयर ग्रोथ बियर्ड ग्रोथ और नॉट व्हाट डज साइंस से एंड व्हाट आर द एविडेंसेस वी विल इवैल्यूएट एंड डिग डीप इनटू द फैक्ट्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू नो एवरीथिंग देयर इज टू नो अबाउट biotin so let's start if you want to know about health and have health concerns then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon you'll be notified about all upcoming videos so guys biotin is a vitamin it's from the b complex vitamin it's b7 so b7 vitamin is biotin and it is found in very small amounts in many foods like eggs milk cereals chocolates egg yolks then bananas nuts uh, and cauliflower cabbages etc etc even in non vegetarian porks and meats and livers and then chicken organ meats etc etc the point is that it is present in various 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 food products so it's very difficult to become deficient in biotin number 1 right unless and until you have a very high requirement right so like you are pregnant or etc something something like similar things will come to that but biotin is a vitamin and it is very commonly used for hair loss sometimes for brittle nails for nerve damages and many other conditions but what exactly is it effective for what does it do see biotin basically is an important component of enzyme in your body that breaks down your fats carbohydrates and other substances so basically it's used in metabolism it's a digestive enzyme uh, aiding thing basically it basically a coenzyme which you can say so biotin is not exactly doing anything directly to your hairs or anything so but what exactly happens if you are somehow deficient in biotin in that case what happens you have thinning of hairs you have rashes around your eyes nose mouth you have depression you have lack of interest hallucinations tingling in your arms and legs so if your biotin levels are low then these things happen so in that case thinning of hairs can benefit by taking biotin so biotin are low in some amount some people maybe it might be low in pregnancy so if you are pregnant your biotin can become low if you are pregnant and malnourished that is actually the criteria if you are pregnant and malnourished your biotin will be low if you have undergone a rapid weight loss weight loss people have nutritional deficiency malnourishment and then biotin can be low right and cigarette smoking can actually cause low biotin levels and certain inherited genetic conditions can be there but the point is only by these selective conditions you can have a deficiency of biotin and only then you will benefit by these biotin supplements or else a normal healthy diet person who is taking a normal healthy diet does not have biotin deficiency and therefore they will not basically benefit by a biotin supplement for anything for any hair loss right for even hair growth or uh, beard growth for that matter i have been asked about beard growth for a uh, number of instances that why i looked into these things and even the latest research articles and collective studies have shown that biotin has a very uh, limited activity for hair and hair growth so the idea is to take it from the diet you don't need a biotin supplement you really need to spend so much on that the only thing why the industries are promoting this biotin is because it does not have much side effects as compared to others like vitamin a zinc selenium right other micronutrients biotin does not have side effects so you you can take that so that's why they are promoting it but it's not necessary that you will benefit from that so you have to see if you have a biotin deficiency and for that matter there is no certain you know good laboratory test to detect if you are biotin deficient that's why it's very difficult 
right to say if you do have biotin deficiency but it has some symptoms like if you have biotin deficiency you will have thinning of hairs right you might have loss of hair color also you might have red scaly rash around the eyes nose mouth right there might be depression hallucination tingling numbness etc that's what i've told you about and that you might be having deranged sugar level i mean diabetic patients can have deficiency of biotin also so there is a very limited evidence that biotin is actually uh, effective against hair loss and is effective for hair growth in any area of the body right so that's what was the thing but yes it is shown good effectiveness against brittle splitting brittle nails if you have nails problem brittle nails so you should take biotin supplement or else no and you should know the daily requirement of biotin biotin is required in very micro amount only 25 micrograms are required on a daily basis if you are a male and if you are a female little more 30 micrograms are required on your part so then if we talk about safety of biotin obviously if you are uh, pregnant and breastfeeding then uh, it's usually asked to take from diet if you take a good healthy diet you will receive the necessary amount of biotin only thing you need to see if you are not malnourished if you are malnourished you might need uh, some supplements of multivitamins multivitamins will have the necessary amount of biotin uh, you don't need to take an extra you know different supplement of biotin children also can take like that a multivitamin doses if their uh, you know nutrition level is not at par so that's the thing then smoking people who smoke regularly should also take a multivitamin now and then that will actually take care of all these deficiencies right so that's the basic thing about uh, biotin but make sure uh, not to mix biotin with uh, egg whites egg whites is which uh, decreases the absorption of uh, biotins and uh, if you actually want to know about hair loss and why you are having hair loss you have to first diagnose i mean if you have hair thinning if you have hair loss if you don't if you want more growth in your hairs may it be beard may it be on your hair on your scalp or anywhere you need to first diagnose what is the problem there are you having any thyroid problem are you having any protein deficiency malnutrition any androgenic you know di- hormonal deficiency hormonal imbalance so only after finding the causes multiple causes can be there so you need to watch my hair loss videos go to my channel and watch hair loss by doctor education and note down each point and then discuss with your doctor whether you have this or not whether you have that or not and then you will find out what are the possible causes for your problem and then after tackling all those problems only then you can solve your issue then you can achieve your hair growth your decrease hair loss and beard growth for that matter only by a good nutrition that is the basic here right uh, biotin is needed but you can get it from the diet same so is needed uh, all the micronutrients like iron selenium vitamin a vitamin e all these things are needed zinc is needed protein is the main important thing which is needed so you need to look into your diet first so if you are taking a healthy diet then you should be good right so make sure to watch all the videos collectively and then take a note of every single point which i have given so that you can benefit from it okay so that's all about biotin which you need to know there is no need to take an extra supplement of biotin for whatsoever need uh, you have i mean like i said it's very limited amount take a healthy diet and it will be fulfilled or you can take a multivitamin once or twice a week any multivitamin will do change the multivitamin every month because every multivitamin has a different combination check your thyroid check your other nutritional levels right etc hormone levels so correct them you'll solve your problem so that's all about this issues if you have any questions do write me in the comment section and remember FQ channel is there and first those comments will be answered and then I'll come back to this so if you have any urgency go to the FQ channel and write your questions there and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon I'm Dr Paramjit those who don't know me I'm a consultant physician and cardiologist in Yashoda Super Specialty Hospital Nehru Nagar Delhi and CR and this is my channel stay connected guys stay healthy